Welcome! In this video, I'm going to show you what is generally my foundation routine for when I am trying to serve a look. Um, it doesn't change up that frequently, so I figured I would just put it all in one video so I didn't have to include it every time I am trying to serve a look. Um, so I went ahead and I primed my face. I usually prime when I'm going to um, apply a heavy foundation just to keep some moisture in the skin because I know I'm going to have so much powder on. So now I'm taking my Miran Cream Blend Foundation Sticks and I am applying my base shade first. Um, I use three shades when I use these foundations. I use a base shade which is this one, which is kind of close to my skin tone. It's a little bit more orange, even though you can't really tell on camera, but it's slightly too orange in person, but that's fine. And then I take a highlight shade and a contour shade. So highlight is obviously lighter and contour is darker. And they're still within the cool slash pink tone color family of what my actual skin tone is. That way it kind of matches a little bit because that's what I usually go for. So I went ahead and blended out the base shade with a damp beauty blender-esque sponge and then I applied my highlight and my contour in the areas. Contours go on the darker parts, it's the shadows. Highlights go on the parts that you want to bring out and be lighter. And when I apply the contours, I usually like to kind of feather and blend out a little bit with the brush as I apply. Now I'm just going to go in and blend out with that same damp sponge. Um, I usually go and use one side of it to blend out the base, spin it around to a clean side, then blend out the contour and then the highlight with another new clean portion of the sponge. That way we just keep it separate so it's not getting kind of muddy as you go. I also like to blend out the contours before the highlight. That's just me. Um, I just find it a little bit easier to do that. I don't know. So I'm going around and blending out all those contours. And then I'm gonna go in and roughly blend out the highlights. And then after that, because my base shade is slightly darker, when I blend out my highlight shade all over the face, then it's closer to my skin tone because I'm pretty pale most of the time, so it just helps that way. And then it just gives me a softer blend if I just blend everything after blending out the highlight and contour. If I just blend the whole face as one, full unit instead of separate pieces, if that makes any sense. I also like to wait until I do the majority of the face to do the nose because I usually find that if I do the nose in the beginning with everything else, it just kind of gets blended away and doesn't do anything and I have to go back and do it again before I set anyway. So I like to just grab the brush I used to apply the contour and whatever is left on it because it's already kind of mixed with the other shades so it's already toned down and there's not as much product on it so it is harder to do a super strong nose contour that would be harder to blend out because there's not as much stuff on it so it's already easier it's already kind of blended for you and it's blending as you apply it so I like to take it from my nose bridge slash eye socket meeting place where I usually put my crease and pull it down the sides of my nose. I usually do a similar shape. Sometimes I go thinner, sometimes I stay to my natural nose. It depends on what I'm doing. Um, and then I also take some contour onto the side of the nostrils and I guess on the tip of the nose. And then I just slightly blend that out with the same sponge. And I'll go back and I'll keep like applying and blending out until I get it to a place where I want it. And I usually have it pretty soft. Sometimes I go for stronger, yet again, it depends on what I'm going for, but nothing. And then I like to go ahead and put on the highlight on the nose. Sometimes I'll use my finger, sometimes I'll use a brush. I generally like to just use my finger because I don't want to dirty another brush because washing brushes is my least favorite thing. I hate it so much. Can I? And then I'm just gonna set the face to make sure it doesn't run away, I guess. Um, since it's a cream or it's wet, like whatever, you wanna set it with powder. So it's harder to smudge off your face and it's not shiny and it doesn't look like a mask. Um, so I'm just taking a translucent powder and I'm putting that on all of the highlights and then I have an Airspun Cody powder that is, I don't remember what it's called, but it's slightly colored not really and I put that on the contour parts 
I'm using the same damp sponge that I use to blend out the face to apply the translucent powder on the highlights. Um, this was one of the first times I've tried doing this. I've heard a lot of people, including my sister, telling me to try it. Um, and I actually really like it. It keeps some moisture in the area without making it dry out from the excessive amounts of powder that I'm packing on. Um, also, I forgot to mention, while doing all this, I'm also blending onto the ears and down the neck because if you do your face and ignore your ear, your ears just hanging out naked, not really blending into everything. Even if your foundation fully like matches, textures will be different, blah, blah, blah. And you obviously wanna blend down your neck unless you want a line because that's what the look you're going for wants you to do. So then I'm just taking a little triangle cosmetic sponge, whatever, to pack on that other powder to set the contour portions of my face because you want to set it. And then I kind of cook what I'll generally do or like bake, whatever. But what I'll do is I'll just leave it on for a few minutes. I will generally go on Snapchat because, you know, that's what you do. And I'll take selfies and like blah, 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 because I'm obnoxious and it's probably not that exciting to just constantly see pictures of me like baking like once or twice a week. It's probably not, not that riveting. But I keep doing it! Hey! Then I'm just gonna buff off any excess powder and that's it. The foundation's applied, you have your base, highlight, and contour, and you're ready to go. Smear on whatever colors or whatever you want to do next. Um, so yeah, this is basically the general base that I do, and yeah, we come in peace. Subscribe, like, all that stuff. Um, okay, bye.